Yes, but that was that was winnable, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think the boys have got it about the loss. Um, yeah, but I think there's some real positives to take out of the match. Um, yeah, just absolutely got it. Talk to me about that driving more because it seems to be improving weekly and that's a fair statement because it was at a pretty good point at the start of the season. Yeah, it's it's something to go back to. Um, we lost a few opportunities with it in the second half. Um, but yeah, uh, we drill it every week. <clears throat> Hopefully get better next week, go again. We were talking this morning and you said you never played at Twickenham. How was your first experience here? <laughs> Obviously not as I wanted it to be. But um, yeah, it's a massive atmosphere. I, I can only imagine if it's full, how it would have been in here. Yeah. But um, yeah, what an experience, what a stadium, what a place to be. Your first game in front of fans since you joined Leicester Tigers. I mean, 10,000 is a pretty small group for Leicester Tigers fans. But how was that when you heard your name read out and you hear them cheering for you? Yeah, it's, it's definitely, yeah, you, you get a bit fired up and you, you feel a bit different, I would say. A bit of fire in your belly. But, um, yeah, it was good to have the fans back. I mean, uh, you only realise when they're back how much they mean. When you look now, there's three games left in the Premiership. How do you get yourselves back up? Because it's, it's a heartbreaking one tonight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to lose, obviously. But I think um, we take the positives out of the match. Um, the thing is... Uh, I don't think the group is is down at all. I mean, obviously we lost tonight, but massive learnings for us. I mean, this group is going somewhere. I'm I'm absolutely proud of the boys. I can't express it in words.